just, I can't, I can hardly spell anything, so don't worry about that. <laughs> I grew up in New Jersey. I've been working in technology for my whole career, as well as I studied it in college and got a master's degree, so I really like computers. Um, outside of work, I like to travel, watch a lot of movies, and recently, maybe the last three, four years, have been trying to play golf. So that is me. Uh, some of the problems that I help clients solve are really focused in the space of process, governance, service management. Some of the specific problems that clients experience every day would be having many incidents in their environment, which means they have a lot of downtime and they can't explain why it's happening. This often will result in revenue lost because when there are incidents, it means that their systems are down and they're just not able to restore them in time. Um, another very common type of problem people have is, should I make this investment in my technology space in my data center? Should I move forward with moving to the cloud? That specifically could be, should I close my second data center and move that workload to Azure? Um, or I'm not happy with my current environment in that I don't like AWS. Is there another possible vendor like Microsoft, Google that I can move my workload to? Would you be able to come and help me make perform that analysis? Um, give me the data, right? The zeros and the ones to prove out that this is an ROI that we, my company, should be investing, you know, millions of dollars in. First, I would go through to understand what is the current state of how they work. This helps me establish a baseline and understanding of the day-to-day -day work performed. Oftentimes, this is when they have um, tribal knowledge. So nothing is documented and everyone really just runs around in firefighter mode trying to restore systems, reboot them. But what happens is they are not addressing the root cause of the problems. And oftentimes, incidents are caused by changes to the environment. When you go and install a new package, right, a new enhancement update, and those often are also not properly tested. Um, sometimes this is what we also call service level management, where there is no agreement between IT, technology, and the customers that they support. Oftentimes when this happens, Everyone is up in arms, right? Their calls to executive directors and even the CIO complaining that the systems are not up and running. Um, the way that we help and I help customers uh, improve their processes is by performing what we call a maturity assessment in the service management processes. So oftentimes this will include really all of the processes in addition to incident and change because the two of them, we, while they may be at the forefront, have many underlying processes that they have inputs from. One of the main ones would be problem management as well as configuration management, asset management, release, knowledge management. By performing the maturity assessment, this is where we take the baseline, understand the gaps to the best practices, and then define a recommendations built into a roadmap such that the client can follow those actionable steps um, to increase their maturity by filling the different gaps. When clients engage ASEAN Digital on our operating model and service management offerings, over time uh, and immediately, they see that their environment becomes more stable. 
Specifically, their measurable successes are that they no longer have incidents occurring on a daily basis. They are no longer in the firefighter mode. They have more standardized processes that each of the different roles are able to fill throughout their day, performing the same responsibilities. And overall, just better work environment because instead of coming in and working on, you know, whatever's fire is, has experienced that day and people coming in and yelling at them face to face, they're able to be more, more proactive in their work such that they're following standardized processes, procedures, they understand who works with who, and overall the technology environment is more stable. I think the biggest barriers that customers and clients experience, first, believe it or not, they're not sure how their environment runs. How does their technology work? How do the people who work with the technology to make sure it's up and running, they're not even sure what their people do. So the very that is where we come in and help them understand and document the baseline of how work is done. And I think that clients and customers are not sure how to improve the problem. What are What is the fix? They just don't know what to do. And so when we come in and help define actionable steps and perform on-the-job training for them to increase their skills, this is where it like turns on light in the room that was you know, previously dark. They now can see and understand the steps that they should be following in order to realize the value of standardized processes and to provide a stable environment. I would have to say our first just being open to change and being willing to adopt the new practices that are they're being taught. Second is really just to maintain the, the consistency to continue to do the new, you know, the new processes, the new roles, um, working with new people. The third most important theme is the executive leadership and buy-in to support these new changes. Um, it's important that there is sponsorship, continued sponsorship across to support the new policies, procedures from the top. The fourth theme I would say is communication. The organizational change management on the differences, the value and benefit it's bringing to technology, to the businesses that are supported. I think it's important to make sure they're being communicated consistently, often as well, um, to let people know what are the changes, um, how will this benefit you, how will this bring value. <laughs> Um, the biggest value I see customers realize through a successful service delivery and service management is in the operations space, just a very well-run technology organization. As you know, the, the biggest value here for operations is to maintain as close to, a, you know, five nines. So the 99.999 uptime. And that is really critical where their uptime will have increased. Um, there is almost no uh, occurring of major incidents, as well as overall happiness for the folks who work in service management and service delivery, whether it's the process owners, service center owners. Um, they're able to spend less time on firefighting and working on you know, restoring service for major incidents and on more innovative type of work, right? To be creative. What makes Action Digital different um, as a consulting firm when working with clients and customers is first that we are Vendor agnostic. We work with all platforms and really will analyze and determine the best one that is suited for the customer. We have partners that we work with for the application and tool side. We have vendors who we have or partners with for the application and technology implementation. 
Um, additionally, we bring real world functional expertise. We have been on the other side of the table where we have executives, directors who are now Axiom Digital consultants um, able to work with you. And third, I would say that we are very customer center focused. Thank <laughs> you.